you will start in your My T-Lab account. In your My T-Lab account, in your course materials, you should see Word Projects and Word Exam folder. You want to click on it, it's a link, and then you want to click on the link IT1010 Word Chapter 1 Skill Builder. And when you do all of your projects, the first thing you want to do is download files. Um, notice right here in the instructions, the first, there's instructions down here below. It says, from my T-Lab, download and open the file name Skills Word 01 Greater A2. To get to that file, you must click on Download Files. So that's the first thing I do every time I do a project. Before we open that file, let's talk about the files that are in here. The first one is your instructions. You can click on this green drop down. I'm in the Google Chrome browser, so when I click on that, it's very nice. My file goes into my downloads folder, and I can click on it here to open it. So you can open your instructions and enable editing. And you can print those and look at them. That's what I've done. Or you can snap them over here to the right part of your screen or left if you're a lefty. And you can follow the instructions on the screen. I'm going to close those because I don't need them. The second file is that starter file that it tells us to open. The third file here is called Word Chapter 1 Skill Builder Final Results. Well, let's take a look at that. This comes with every one of your projects and it's very nice when it comes to your exams. Your skill builders, you get three attempts to get as many points as you can, up to 50. Your exams are 100 points, but you only get one submission. So it's nice to use this final results file. It comes with all of the grader projects, including the exam. When you look at it, it shows you exactly what the file should look like when you're finished. So this is what we're going to produce here in Word Chapter 1 Skill Builder. I'm going to close it. The next file happens to be a file that we will need later. We're going to copy information from this file and paste it to our letter for the second page. You may also see images here, .jpegs. Anytime you see those, I usually download these first before I open my start file. That way I know it's in my downloads folder when I need it and I don't have to come back to the screen. So the next thing we're going to do is open our start file, just second green arrow. This one I'm going to open, so I'm going to click here and open. And enable editing, first thing you want to do. Step one of the instructions tell us to open that file and then we have to save it right away. So they want us to save it last name underscore first name underscore word 01 underscore skill underscore builder. Underscore is done by clicking shift with the hyphen. So I'm going to go back to my file and I'm going to click file save as double click on computer and I want to go to the desktop. The desktop is where I put my IT1010 folder. So I'm going to double click it to open it. And then I have a Word folder. I'm going to double click it. And then I made Skill Builder folders. So I'm going to open my Word Skill Builder. And I'm going to click down here where it says File Name. I'm going to type last name. You type your last name. Underscore first name. You type your first name. WRD01 underscore skill underscore builder. And we've typed the file name and navigated and saved it to our 1010 Word subfolder. We are finished with step one and we're going to step two.